Samsung has dropped the details on its latest line of Galaxy A series devices for those who can't afford or justify the premium price attached to smartphones like the Galaxy S23. Though the 2023 roster is smaller in size than its 2022 counterpart, the new Galaxy A54, Galaxy A34, Galaxy A14 and Galaxy A14 5G promise to hone in on the same thrifty appeal. You get some of the features and flair of the flagship Galaxy S range at a fraction of the cost. That core pitch here isn't particularly different to the one seen in Samsung's last lot of mid-range and budget devices, but given the broader economic climate, it's hard to argue that it's unlikely to be any less resonant this time around. The first cab off the rank here is the Galaxy A54. Since there is no follow-up to last year's Galaxy A73 to be found, the Galaxy A54 is the new top end of the roster. It's built around a 6.4-inch Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate on the front and a premium glass finish on the back. The rear of the Galaxy A54 also plays host to a triple lens camera setup that's led by a 50MP main sensor and complemented by a 12MP ultra-wide lens and a 5MP macro lens. Meanwhile, those who prefer to take their selfies from the front-facing camera on the Galaxy A54 get a sizable 32MPs to play with. They're also likely to benefit from the same vision booster tech introduced by last year's Galaxy S22, which promises to make the screen on the device more visible in brighter environments. Under the hood, the Galaxy A54 comes powered by Android 13, spliced with the latest version of Samsung's One UI, a 5000 mAh battery, an Exynos 1380 processor, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of onboard storage. There's only one spec configuration available, but there is a micro SD slot for those who aren't satisfied with so few gigabytes. Color-wise, those looking to pick up the Galaxy A54 get to choose from either Awesome Violet and Awesome Graphite. The Samsung Galaxy A34 is only $100 cheaper than the Galaxy A54, and it shows. The mid-ranger is armed with a larger 6.6-inch Super AMOLED screen, clocked at the same 120Hz as the Galaxy A54, but the impact of that distinction feels a little blunted by how similar the designs of the two units are at a glance. On the inside, the Samsung Galaxy A34 runs on a MediaTek Dimensity 1080 but shares the same sums of RAM, storage, and MA as the pricier Galaxy A54. There's also a differentiation between the camera setup seen here. In contrast to the triple lens setup found on the Galaxy A54, the Galaxy A34 has a 48MP main camera that comes supported by an 8MP ultra-wide lens and a 5MP macro lens. The front-facing side of the device is also armed with a more meager 13MP selfie camera. The Samsung Galaxy A34 is available in the same awesome graphite color as the Galaxy A54, but those looking for an awesome violet variant won't be able to find one. Instead, Samsung is issuing an awesome lime run of the subprime mid-ranger. More broadly, the pitch that Samsung is making with the Galaxy A54 and Galaxy A34 is that these two mid-rangers inherit a lot of the low-light photography and optical stabilization advances that the brand debuted in recent Galaxy S-series devices. Beyond more capable camera tech, the Galaxy A54 and Galaxy A34 both come built to last longer. Samsung says that the two devices will be supported over the long haul with four generations of OS upgrades and five years of security updates. That's not quite on par with Apple, but it's among the best of post-launch pledges when it comes to Android manufacturers. If the Galaxy A54 and Galaxy A34 are defined by their similarities, the Galaxy A14 and Galaxy A14 5G are divided by their differences. The names here tell most of the story, but omit a handful of key critical details. For instance, one thing it won't tell you is that the latter has a 90Hz refresh rate that's absent in the former. 
Another detail it leaves out is the differences in the rear cameras found on the two devices. The body of the Galaxy A14 5G plays host to a 50MP main camera, which is supported by a 2MP depth sensor and a 2MP macro lens on the back and a 13MP selfie cam on the front. The Galaxy A14 shares most of these specs, but it trades out the 2MP depth sensor for a 5MP ultra-wide lens. The Galaxy A14 also runs on the MediaTek Alio G80 processor while the Galaxy A14 5G is running on Samsung's own Exynos 1330 chipset. Past that, both devices have a 6.6-inch FHD Plus screen, 5,000 mAh battery, 4GB of RAM, and 128GB of onboard storage. As with the rest of the Galaxy A series, that last one can be rounded out with a few extra gigabytes via a micro SD card.